I would say this is the fundamental step of any good morning. And if you don't do this enough, you are messing yourself up in a number of ways. So what's the routine then, the ultimate morning and evening routine to set your brain and your mind up for optimal performance and not getting brain fog? Fundamental layer of health is to set your circadian rhythm. The simplest way to do that is to go outside for 10 minutes and get some bright light in your eyes. I'll just list off some of the things that people always ask, what if you wake up before the sun rises? Well, simple rule, if you want to be awake, turn on as many bright lights in your house as possible, but then when the sun goes out, it comes out, excuse me, get outside. Mm -hmm. and see some sunlight. You do not have to look directly into the sun, but you do want to get outside out of shade cover if you can. Don't wear sunglasses if you can do that safely. Don't try and do this through a window. Don't try and negotiate with me on this mm -hmm. point. People Go like, outside. What about a window? Well, the filtration of the, of the important wavelengths of light through the window is just too high, and so it would take hours for you to set your circadian clock mm -hmm. that way. You want to do this because once every 24 hours, you're going to get a, a peak in cortisol, which is a healthy peak. You want that peak to happen early in the day because it sets up alertness for the remainder of the day. Mm. There are really nice studies done by my colleagues in Stanford Psychiatry and Biology Department showing that if that cortisol peak starts to drift too late in the day, you start seeing signs of depression. It's actually a well-known marker of depression. So you want that cortisol almost stressed out, kind of oh, the day's beginning, I have a lot to do feeling. That's a healthy thing you want that happening early in the day. Mm. The sunlight will wake you up. And what's really cool is that over time, you'll start to notice the sunlight waking you up more and more. The system becomes tuned up. If you miss a day, it's not the end of the world because it's a, as we call it, a slow integrating system, but don't miss more than one day. And if you live in an area where it's very cloudy outside, just know that the sunlight, the photons coming through that cloud cover are brighter than your brightest indoor lights. Now, if you live in a very dark region of the world or it's unsafe or purely impractical to get outside in the morning, then it might make sense to get a, a sunrise simulator or one of these lights, but they tend to be very expensive. What I recommend people use instead is it just a ring light, a wow. ring blue light. This is a case where you can blast your system. So get that morning light. That this is, it sets a number of things in motion, such as your melatonin rhythm to happen 16 hours later to help you fall asleep. I would say this is the fundamental step of any good morning. And if you don't do this enough, you are messing yourself up in a number of ways. Does this mess with digestion also? Yeah, so every cell in your body has a 24 hour clock. All those clocks need to be aligned to the same time. So imagine a clock shop with lots of different clocks mm. and you don't want them alarming off at different times. This sunlight viewing or bright light viewing early in the day, I would say within 30 to 60 minutes of waking up for about 10 minutes or if it's very cloudy, maybe 30 minutes or so, that activates a particular type of neuron in the eye called the intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cell. If people want to look that up, signals to the circadian clock, which is right above the roof of your mouth, but that is the master circadian clock that then releases a bunch of signals into your body. This all happens very fast mm. and every cell in your body gets tuned to the exact same time reference point so that your system can work as a nice concert of cells as opposed right. to out of whack. Your gut has a clock, your liver has a clock, your heart cells have a clock, every skin cell has a clock. And for those that are not incentivized enough by the cortisol stuff and all the other things, actually the replenishment of stem cells in the skin, hair, and nails is activated by the system. So hair grows more readily, um, skin turns over, and nails grow more quickly. Mm because you have stem cells, literally cells that release more cells that become new hair cells and new skin cells and new uh, cells that make up the nails. So skin, hair, and nails also benefit and it has to be light exposure to the eyes. When we so, talk about all these things like the gut and the skin, et cetera, it's tempting to say, oh, it's sunlight on the skin. No, it's actually, only can be signaled through the eyes because the clock lives deep in the brain, that master clock, and you need the signal to get to that master clock. So don't wear sunglasses. If you can avoid wearing sunglasses safely, right? There are people, for instance, who have macular degeneration at, who have to avoid bright lights and, and they know mm -hmm. this because their ophthalmologist right. tells them. If you wear corrective lenses, contacts, even if it has UV filtration, that's fine. In fact, if you mm. think about what a what an eyeglass or a contact lens does is it focuses light onto the eye, actually onto the retina on the yeah. back of the eye. Whereas looking through a window filters it. It, it, it blocks a certain mm -hmm. amount of light coming in, even if it's a very clear window. So go outside. If you wear glasses, fine. If you wear contacts, fine. And if you can get out on a porch and be you know east facing in the morning when the sun comes up great you don't need to see the sun cross the horizon but ideally you see the sun when it's at what we call low solar angle it's not directly overhead if you wait two or three oh. hours to, after waking up um, to get bright light in your eyes you are setting yourself up for a complicated sleep wake cycle that leads to a lot of what we call insomnia mm.